Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another adventure with Sarge and Bezek as we continue Ocean Horn 2. Last time we got this amazing sword. If you guys uh, were around for the first game, you would know it's supposed to be the best sword ever made. But it doesn't feel that much more powerful than our old sword. Oh, look at this. Another dagger. As you can see, I did grab a couple daggers. I did fight a few just mob things, and we're heading back. We're heading on our way. Uh, it's freezing in here. Uh, I should have brought my coat. Yeah. Huh. Well, Tran, maybe any of us should have brought some supplies. I think that would have been very helpful. Ghost Town. Hmm. Make your way to Source. Okay. It says that there's one red or one bloodstone here. Okay. The path is blocked by the ice and snow. Let's find a detour. Okay. Well, we've got fire bullets. You think that would do something? But no. Just start a big bonfire. That should do it. You gotta wonder why is this area a? Why was it abandoned? If anything, it almost, this world feels very empty, is the best way I can put it. You, it's supposed to be, you know, multiple kingdoms and everything, but it just feels so empty. Maybe it's just... The town. Huh? Let's head down there. When I was young, I heard of a place up in the north where the knowledge was preserved, where the philosophers lived. A town dedicated to the preservation of the knowledge. Knowledge of whom? Why do you say the knowledge of beacon. whom? It could be the knowledge of the ones who built them. But why do you say knowledge of whom? What is this place? All these statues, they're so lifelike. Oh no. This took place many years ago. Could have been during the last war. But why? I need to say it to collect the emblem of sun. What? So are you saying that her grandfather turned all these people to stone in order to collect the emblem of sun? So that's kind of a terrifying thought. rendered that well. I feel like if I go down there, I'm just gonna die. So let's not go down there and say we did. Hmm. No sign of the bloodstone anywhere. Might as well check out the houses. Oh man, these things are old. Usually it takes a couple hits to break one of those. Why would there be anything on the night board here?
Baron Slangthorn High Philosopher would like to let their Arcadian Knights order an urban outlaw living near our borders. Many traveling merchants have become his victims on their way here in Source. Baron Slangthorn hides in ice caverns across from Source Gate. Hmm. Let's find the key to the High Philosopher's house. Ah. Well, first, we got this thing right here. I think you guys know where I'm about to go with it. Go in and say, okay, I got it. I do like how they have these. Looks like there's hmm, one, maybe two more we haven't gotten yet. Let's go to Flame Shot. I think flame shot would melt the snow. But it doesn't. Oh. I think I see what we're supposed to do. We're gonna pull a little Santa Claus here. No, no, what are you doing? What was that? That made no sense. Oh. Okay. Hey, bloodstone. Okay. I guess that was it. Ooh, and that's considered different than the bloodstone around here. Good to know. Good to know. Under the bridge. Not just some coin. All right. Maybe it's in here. Gaia is the area in space and time where you are prepared for your eternity. The physical world is but a uh, momentary place of trial where we are free to live according to our moral inclinations. Kronos makes an internal record of everything we do in Gaia. I do have a few questions to ask when I meet Archimedes next time. About what? Dear fellow student Archimedes, you are well educated in the knowledge of the sacred emblems, but I see you struggle to understand my paper on the nature of time. You will understand it if you can picture a layer beneath Gaia, our world, an arena of life, it is the realm of Kronos, time and space, the great unknown of eternity. Our existence is a spiral of life, the arc of existence, and the mirror image of that, eternity. If you are not so stubborn, I would be happy to discuss more. Even if one lives according to the ancient moral philosophies, life, observed both close and far, appears to fall into the category of chaos. But even the patterns of chaos 
must be brought into line with the arc of existence that Kronos has already set. Free will only exists up to a point. Every free choice will eventually be made to connect with Kronos' master fate. Okay. Could go to sleep, but that's not really going to do anything for me. So Archimedes lived here. down there. Can't go down there. Aha! There is a tunnel! Right, right, I gotta press B to get out of the water. Get out of through the front door now? No. That's kinda sad. Alright, straight to the ghost town. Well not the ghost town. To the ghost town's mayor's house. Let's find our way through this building. Okay, that was the plan, Master. Look, a chest. Oh. <laughs> the fire in the alcove is no longer keeping the second floor corridor warm. Have someone seal off the alcove completely. The lady. Go on. The puzzle doesn't solve on its own. What the heck? Where did all these come from? was just something to... Alright, alright, alright. Give it some time. Give it some time. Need just one more. I wish I had the chance to visit this place before all of this. The shelves are filled with books brimming with knowledge. But there's no time to read them now. Nope. No time at all. Kinda sad. Alright, so we've got two of the four fire things. See what is down in the chest. It's the only chest in this area, so hopefully it's good. Uh, Alright, if attached to weapon items gives a moderate boost in charge. No. stuff we can get. That's good. Oh, look at that shield over the fireplace. I really like it. 
What's it say? This is a letter from my grandfather to my grandmother. Oh. Dear Calliope, thank you for allowing me to take you to see the stars last night. I was so excited about the telescope. I hope I did not bore you. Science and progress get me so excited. My heart burns when I think about what we could achieve with all the knowledge of the ancestors. We could reach our own true potential instead of settling for this simple life here in the North. I know I am young, but I feel like I can see the future so much better than the philosophers. Philosophers are leaders in their stupid vows for conserving the world. They think I am dangerous, and we must be careful not to attract your husband's attention. What? The last thing we need is High Philosopher to get a hint of us. I know you don't want to hear this, oh, no. but I hate his whole dull existence. He is too old for you, and does not share your passion for, well, yes. anything. Oh, no. But I do not want to write about him. I just want to be with you. Maybe we should escape to the South and have a family. It is something you have always dreamt about, is it not? Thank you again for spending last night with me. Oh, no. Do you remember that special star that I showed you with my telescope? I will take you there one day. You have my word. Ark. Oh, no. Why, Ark? Ark. My grandmother always called him that. Lady, are you glancing over the fact that your grandmother was married to another man first? They and escaped this place and came to the White City. I was born and raised in the Lower Town, and Archimedes was a public figure already back then. Calliope was always on his side. She was his muse, encouraging and driving him into new research and innovations. Huh. She was the kindest and warmest person I have ever known. How kind can you say someone is if she left her husband to be with Archimedes? Yes, and I want to tell you more about her, Trin, but it will have to wait a little longer. Why? Why is this suddenly important? Well, I'm not going to climb through the window. Go ahead and see if you can find a route suitable for an old man like me. Can I get a fire started in the fireplace? No? Aw. Dear Calliope. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to take you to see the stars last night. We had to go through the plate the house just to climb up a window. What? How is that the only way out? That's the only gravestone and you don't have anything written down for it. Uh-oh. We're about to learn some of the history of the world. So that means there could be other species. Yeah, there could easily be other species. Return. The third monolith. I have seen it somewhere. I have seen it in my grandpa's laboratory. A ship reaching to the stars towards another world. Leaving the land in flames behind. Oh. I can see the beacons and the emblems left behind. Connected to a thing that stretches to all the lands below. The Grand Core. Who's that behind us? I'm sorry, Knights. But your adventure ends here. I can't let you interfere with my work any longer.
Say, someone say Papa. No? Oh, is this not the hero's father? You're not going to have any clue what's going on. Are we supposed to be in that building? I don't mind the giant rack of ribs right next to you. mission. Mesmeroth as the emblem of the sun. Yeah, but you still have two other giant robots that can take out his fleet if they find him. They took away our gear and trapped us in this old forsaken prison tower in the Outlands. <sighs> she always loved flowers. My grandmother, Calliope. Looking at a barren and dead place like this makes me remember how much I love flowers. You never think about it when you're in a city, but what Gaia has to offer is something much more valuable than the machines that we surround ourselves with. Calliope's death changed my grandfather. Now all he concentrates on are his war machines. I'm a knight, but I hate war from the bottom of my heart. I hate everything about it. Most people who actually have to do the fighting don't like the fighting. Oh. Imagine... Imagine if we had met before all this. Would we be together? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Hey! Where are you taking me? Hey! Wait, did she just did he just say something? Did our silent protagonist finally say something? Okay, how that works, I don't know, but I'm not gonna question it. Got no sword, no nothing. Don't know where I'm supposed to go. Don't know where I go. But why is it always the sewers? Shot of Sagittarius, a moderate boost in might. Mm.
Alright, that thing's dead. Ooh, a sword. Haru's sword, okay. Expects me to get into there. Oh, I can climb the ladder. Nope, nope, didn't want to go down there. Spotted. And where's that sword? There we go. Oh, it broke. Really? That's all it took for the sword to break? I'm slightly disappointed. They broke her cage open to get her out. What the heck, people? Did you not have a key? How do you not have a key to your own locked door? Hmm. Trying to get a good look of what's around. of bad guys over there, so if I end up going over there, there will be trouble. Okay, we're just gonna have to run for it, people. got no means of attack. Except... How do you... I think I need a shield to push the boulder. <laughs> it's her sword! Trin's Daggerain. You can use a sword or aim and throw a dagger range always come back and I'll make sure to return it to Trin. Okay. Doesn't seem to have really done anything. I hit the other lever. Ha ho! sword, but then again, it probably doesn't have all the things uh, equipped onto it. Yeah, it's got nothing equipped onto it, so that's just the base damage. Come on, let's go. 
go. There's almost no damage. So I was thinking I was being smart and all that by trying to climb up the boxes, but with that giant chasm right there, it's kind of the only option. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, what was that? Okay, for a game that relies... Oh, come on. On automatic jumping... Because you can't do it yourself. Do not... Oh, there we go. What the heck? What is going on? I guess I was hitting that little ledge? What's this? Is that a data pad? Peculiar device is worth 150 points. Okay. Explosive. the other stuff from us. I'm surprised they didn't steal our money. 5,000 coins. That's a lot of money, people. Why is she in that cage? That's an intimidating The prisoner figure. resisted the transfer. Of course she did. She's a trained knight. Leave us. At once, sir. Oh, Trinity. I wish I didn't have to capture you like this. It might be difficult to understand right now, but I once considered your grandparents my friends. I wish we had had a chance to meet before things got out of hand. They are very out of you hand. You can stop any time. No, unfortunately not. I once made a promise to myself that I would not let that madman rule over Arcadia. I will not stop now, when my work is almost finished. Now why is he the madman? You will never rule over Arcadia. What do you mean, rule? It is hard for me to understand the depths of the lies he has been feeding you. I've never wanted to step into Archimedes' shoes. I'm simply here to stop the completion of the Grand Corps and his megalomaniacal plan to take his kingdom to the stars. What? He is a tormented old man who thirsts for power. He's no longer satisfied with the with the magnificent kingdom he has already built. He is now ready to destroy this world, to take his realm to the stars. Let us help you then. With these eyes of mine granted to me by the guardian of the realm's mask, I can see the true you. How you are connected to the streams of creation. What's that? What? It is unfortunate that Archimedes never truly understood how special you are. You and he are both awoken ones, hmm? born from anima orbs. We're souls from another world, brought here by the beacons, born inside the beacons. What? That's... You mean... He's yes, not your grandma, you or grandpa. The boy. Oh. One was born in the hands of a man who wanted a child for his wife. One in the hands of a young and curious warlock. You love him, don't you? 
It seems like this is the path destiny has set before us. I will begin my journey to the White City, but you will stay here, far away from the Triloth's destruction. When the storm is over, together you and he will lay claim to this kingdom, and rule it as the king and queen it deserves. Let me go, Mesmeroth! Well, you gotta give some props to Mesmeroth for him not wanting uh, the power. He's wanting to give it to... He's willing and wants to give it to another. This... What the... Huge place completely abandoned? Granted, there's not that many people. But still... Look at this place. It's amazing. What the heck is he doing? that okay let's go let's go let's go are those bombs just hanging up in the ceiling Type spider bot. All right, let's get whatever this is first. Key to the Inquisitor's chest. Is that the only way I have to arm this thing? I'm okay with that if that's how it is. Okay. Get closer, a little closer, and... Good. not expecting it to turn and hit the explosive. So I can damage it. Doesn't have to be explosive to damage it. I mean, oh yes. Oh, but I can. Come on, get the explosive. Yes! Haha! <laughs> the lever do? Oh yeah, I dropped that. That. How did I forget that so quickly? I just wanted to do something else. Alright. On the grappling hook. Okay. We all know what the grappling hook does. Inventory's full. Okay. What is this? Prototype spider bot. Alright. Why is there just a chasm into the depths? Why? I see. 
I was confused. I thought we'd be going up. I didn't even think of going down at first. Gotta get over there. Easy peasy. Be a little careful, there wasn't too much space. It's charging, it's charging. Wait for it. Nope. Oh. We're going to hide behind here. I want to get the sneak attack. Don't pay any attention to the fact that your little buddy's gone. That you're all alone. With no one to watch your back. And don't notice the metal claw coming out of nowhere and hooking onto you. And suddenly a lot of weight pulling you in a direction. Be careful, I don't have a shield. Ah, I forgot about that. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I could see it before, and then it just... this up, light it on fire, and throw! Uh, remember when I didn't know how to do the throwing? Well, it was because of the button combinations for this, but that's beside the point. Let's wait till it goes around all the way, so that way it's not just chasing us. Coming back, it's coming back. Was not expecting it to come back. Ooh, it stopped. I don't have any bombs. I have to come back after the bomb. Why did it light itself on fire? I don't think that was me. Or maybe it got pulled into that somehow. Aha! Luckily there's not much of a cool down for this. If you need to go through this gate, contact the guard stationed on the top of the floor of the tower. Okay.
That's Trin! How'd she get out? Yeah, Trin, don't jump. Say you will destroy me, but you don't. Prisoner to the Dark Lord's Tower without delay. It's kind of creepy that none of these uh, troopers have names. They've got identification numbers. Ah, so I can't climb anything with this sword. Can't block. It's not good. Hmm. Lots of things around. See, oh, even when I pick something up, it drops it. Get up to Trin first. Hey, is that you? Yes. Mesmeroth is going to attack the White City. You have to stop him. I can take care of myself. Just leave me and stop Mesmeroth. We'll find each other later. No, no. It's your trusty sword, you exchange weapons with Trin. Okay. She found all well, not all my stuff. She found my shield as well. You could have mentioned the shield. We got bombs. I wanna go back. Alright, I'll probably try to cut this bit out.
All right, I checked it. There, I couldn't get back, so I have to move forward. This isn't terrifying. Not terrifying at all. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, not terrifying. Not terrifying at all. Nobody panic. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to drop down. <laughs> Dark blue, okay. Oh, well, at least it died. That explosion was good for something. No, I can't go back that way. Back here. gun and a few other things I think that was the wrong is that the only yeah I went out the wrong door hmm. I need to be a bit more careful about where I'm going okay simple enough This sword would do better. Oh, come on. I just... There we go. I hate that we gotta leave Trin behind. much damage. Oh, oh well. Okay. Well, I guess this is the way to go. Not gonna be able to take the sword with me.
Whoa! What the heck? Okay, oh, really? It's right after I do that. See, I should have paid a little bit more attention to the map. So it shows right. that shows the exact order that you have to do it. Ugh. That could be a little annoying at times. What's this way? It's not the path I'm supposed to go, so I want to check it out. Oh. That'd probably open up later. It's an elevator. Don't be underneath it. I don't want to know what would happen if I was underneath the elevator when I got here. Ah, still not to the... Uh, here we go. I was going to say still not to the treasure chest, but... That's the last one. Yeah. Kind of annoying. And that it's just money half the time. Well, this is where Mesmeroth was. Oh, crap. Okay, it's a good thing. Oh, come on. Ah. Yep. Found my scuba gear. It's interesting that this is the only thing that changes my appearance besides a sword. How are we underwater right now? We're in the middle of nowhere. This isn't scary at all, going through tight spaces while underwater. Though this thing does seem to have unlimited supply of air, so maybe not too scary. So how did Mesmeroth get here? There has to be an easier way. Alright. 
I put up the block. There we go. That just did damage. Oh boy. Oh, did not want it to be that one. I wanted it. Time to pick up the sword. Okay, let's see if we can get some more health. Come on, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, come on. That still hurt me? That's cool. Oh, crud. There we go. Oh, boy. Uh, make way to the top of the okay, tower. Alright, ladies and gents, this seems like it's about to start a whole another thing. But... <laughs> so let's uh, end this one here. If you like this content, make sure you leave a like, a rumble, a fiery thing, or something to let myself and others know this content is enjoyed. Make sure you leave comments in the comment section below. The good, the bad, the ugly. I can take the criticism. And last but not least... <coughs> If you want to stay up to date on all the Ocean Horn or whatever else might be playing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe.